Bobby, I, I still don't know yet uh, why we're meeting here. JR and I had our um, conversation. He asked me what you and I talked about. How does he know that you and I talked? That's just the point. You didn't tell him, right? I didn't say anything. And yet he knew. So, well, then, obviously, he's having your house watched. Isn't that typical JR? Sweet-talking me and spying on me at the same time. Anything you want me to do? Let me think about that one. I just might like that little pleasure all to myself. How did you get in here? You're gonna have me arrested for breaking and entering? This is my house, and you have no right to be here. Mrs. Chambers, let me in. It's the last time she'll do that. Hey, wait a minute. Just hold on. Don't go blaming her. I mean, she knows that I'm John Ross's father. That's a legitimate reason for being here, you know. What do you want? Well, I'm trying to figure something out. You and I were getting along so well. I mean, really fine. And then all of a sudden, your attitude changed just like that. Once a J.R. Ewing, always a J.R. Ewing. I just remembered that, that's all. Bobby told me he came see you. He did, did he? Yeah. What did he say to turn you against me? Nothing he said. I told you my memory just suddenly improved. Well, then I don't understand. Well, maybe this is something you'll understand. You and I are divorced, right? Unhappily, that's true. And my personal life is my business, right? Of course it is. Then why is that detective watching my house? I refuse to be spied on JR. I won't have it. Do you understand? Now, hold on. Let's talk this over for a couple of minutes. Yeah, and just in case you wasted a lot of money having my phone tapped, well, I'm going to make a personal phone call. And I hope your detective's listening. It's for both of you. Hi. I know you're real busy, but uh, I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed being with you last night. Me too. And we're still on for tonight? Seven? That's just fine. Bye, Cliff. Mr. Barnes, I tried to stop him, but he... It's all right. Just close the door, please. Do you want something? I'm putting you on notice, Barnes. Oh? I'm going to destroy you. We tried that. Didn't work. No, you don't understand. I don't want to just wipe you out. Not anymore. By the time I'm finished with you, there's not going to be any more Cliff Barnes. Not in Dallas, not in Texas, not anywhere. You're going to cease to exist. I promise you that. <laughs> 